strongest boy. This is an amazing young man. When I say young, I'm not exaggerating. He squats. He squats for 45 minutes straight with no rest. Flat matches to 180 pounds. Let's have a big Las Vegas welcome for the amazing Richard Sandrick. My first impressions was I thought this was trick photography. I thought this was a midget. I knew in all my years that I'd been involved in the fitness and bodybuilding industry that if I had never seen anything like this, nobody had ever seen anything like this. You see this guy when he's six years old and, you know, he's ripped and he's jumping and dancing around and he's got a body like a mini Arnold. You know, your first impression is how does a six-year-old get into that kind of shape? Having seen footage of the boy, it would be highly unlikely that anyone could achieve that type of physique without artificial enhancement. His body was just like a pro bodybuilder, and for his age, to have an eight-pack, not even just a six-pack, you know, is, is totally incredible. If I could speak to the boy's mother, I would ask her the question if she really fully did the research to understand what she's doing to this child. This is the story of Richard Sandrak, an extraordinary young boy who, pound for pound, has been described as the strongest human being in the world. When people first see images of Richard, their reaction is usually one of disbelief. How could a six-year-old child develop a body so incredibly toned and muscular, and how much of his childhood was sacrificed to do so? We've come to spend a month with the world's strongest boy during his school holidays. At just 11 years of age, Richard is already a veteran of the bodybuilding circuit. When I went on stage the first time, I was so nervous, I almost cried. But at the same time, I was so excited that I get to go on stage in front of like thousands of people. I didn't really know the whole show business. I wasn't a professional at this, so I didn't know what to do. You know what I mean? I didn't know what to do. All I knew is that I had to do my routine. That's all I knew. Right now, I've been on so many shows already, and I've uh, built uh, confidence in the shows, so I feel much more comfortable doing everything now. Originally from the Ukraine, Richard's parents sold everything and moved their two-year-old son to the United States in 1994 in order to give him the best possible opportunity they could. Even as an infant, he'd shown signs of being a super strong phenomenon. Uh, when Richard was eight months old, he went to the hospital. He had a uh, really bad flu and they had to do a shot for him. It was two doctors, and then they called one more doctor. They couldn't hold him to do a shot. And I never thought about that until I came home and realized it was like a baby who couldn't walk yet, and he was such a strong. It makes me think <laughs> what I'm going to do with him. <laughs> Both Richard's parents were fitness fanatics, and they were keen to encourage their young son to start exercising. I start to do small stretches, just simple exercise for a baby, just to keep him in exercising. And then when he grew up, he saw us training all the time. My husband used to lift weights and I did some gymnastics. So he started following us and just carry small dumbbells. And we saw his interest in weights, so then we we'll made a small bar for him, like one pound each side. And he just carried it, playing around without knowing that he's exercising. For the next two years, Richard's training intensified. His father, Pavel, a martial arts expert, began teaching Richard various techniques, and by the age of five, he'd quickly mastered the art. 
1997, the family moved from America's East Coast to Los Angeles. With its notorious obsession with image and the body beautiful, LA provided the perfect platform for Richard to become a star. All Pavel needed was someone to launch his son's career. The first time that I heard about Richard, the father came walking into to one of my Gold's gyms, in, and here was this uh, little boy with him. He said, can I show you something? Right there at the counter at the Gold's gym in front of uh, 250, 300 people in an in a evening and a packed house, Richard just takes all of his clothes off and he's wearing his little underwear. And I looked down at him and I said, you've got to be kidding me. He had as much muscle mass as any professional bodybuilder. He didn't have a six pack, he had a 12 pack. Uh, he, his tone and definition was uh, second to none. And then we went into a, a training room that I have where speed bags and heavy bags. You have to be about 5'10 to work the bag. And Richard jumps up in the air and kicks the bag about three times before he hits the ground. I said, you, you've got to be kidding me. For over 25 years, Frank Gardenia has been one of the fitness industry's greatest entrepreneurs. With a celebrity client base ranging from Mike Tyson to Rod Stewart, Frank was exactly what Pavel needed. Someone who could give his son a real shot at stardom. I knew from being in the industry that nobody had seen anything like this. I said, we'll keep this the best kept secret. And, and that's what we did. We started molding Little Hercules. At just six years old, Little Hercules exploded onto the bodybuilding scene. And the media circus began to roll. By 1999, Richard was a mini, muscle-bound celebrity, appearing regularly on national TV, in the trade press, and at major industry events. Today, Richard's physique has changed. Last year, his parents split up, and for the first time in his young life, Richard was free to relax his relentless training regime. After my dad left, I just thought I would take a break and eat the food that I never ate before and try everything out and just take a break from training, just train very little. And then I got kind of puffy. <laughs> I got kind of puffy and I got not very happy about that. With dreams of becoming the next action hero, we join Richard at a crucial time. After being offered the lead role in a Hollywood movie about Tarzan, he has just four weeks to get back to the former shape that took the U.S. by storm. In four weeks, I was looking forward to change my body into a ripped, uh, uh, a ripped piece of um, art, let's say. While well, working on a movie, it's about Tarzan. I really want to do it. I want to get back into my best shape ever. I want to look better than I did.